This is a follow-up to my Forza Motorsport video. It caused some controversy, so I'll be addressing the interesting points that some people brought up. The first one is related to sim steering. Someone pointed out how this isn't a bug, and he is right. It was more of an annoying game mechanic that didn't make sense and had no reason to be there. This thing got so much better in Horizon 5, it felt like a huge bug fix. And also some people pointed out how Korea also celebrates the Lunar New Year. Well yeah, a few countries around China do as well. And Hyundai isn't even the only Korean car brand, so it just doesn't seem like a coincidence that it had to be Hyundai. But most of the controversy came from the FM community, regarding the drama part of the video. They say I got banned for cheating in the event, but as I said, they didn't ban a blatant cheater, why would they ban me? And of course they provided no proof. The only point they ever bring up is my FM7 video where I demonstrate how cheats easily ruin the comp scene and go undetected. Yeah, I totally understand that it doesn't make me look good since I cheated to prove a point in that video but somebody had to get caught eventually for something to change. That's what I thought back then, but nearly a year later, nothing has changed. The games still have no cheat detection, the tournaments are still being poorly documented and the players aren't any more vigilant. It seems like I destroyed my reputation in the comp scene for $300 and judging by the state of comp, it was actually worth it. Anyways, the best FM player in the world who I called out in the video actually commented. Now YouTube heavily buries what it thinks are negative comments. I have no proof and I'm just speaking from experience but it's some sort of AI that they had for a long time. He got people to like it but that still wasn't enough so here it is. This is our conversation if you want to read. Just one thing, the person he's mentioning here denied having admitted to cheating, but that's not the point here. In the end, the whole key takeaway from all of this is that we both don't have any concrete proof against each other. I know in the video it sounded like I was heavily throwing shades at him, but I mostly wanted people to open their eyes. Regardless, I should have altered that part of the video and toned down the aggression. Our opinion about each other won't change, but without proof, we can't continue this conversation. Moving on, not everyone agreed that trigger locks were better because how it affected trail braking on the Elite 1 controller. Cause locking triggers gives you a shorter travel distance, making it less accurate. But you don't have to use the Elite 1. You can just put something underneath your trigger or use a remapping tool on PC. There is literally no reason not to do this. And even on Elite 1, I'd argue that eliminating the chance of lockups and getting perfect braking completely outweighs a small decrease in trail braking accuracy. Next up, regarding my lap time, some calm people say that I'm not taking the right racing lines and I'm carrying more grip, and let's play their game. I'm gonna show the replay of a few runs. I would much rather look at the data, but we don't have it, and it wouldn't be fully reliable with how the game runs on different hardware and frame rate. With that said, these replays should be taken with a grain of salt, and there are probably sim racers who are gonna write an essay about the lines, just keep in mind that this is Fozo and this car was a bitch to drive. The first corner, I'm taking a wide entry, using props to slow down. This long corner has so many different lines you can take on the exit, not even the top times take it all similarly. I'd say that was pretty standard, but the fast essay is the most important section of this track. I almost lose it, but recover instantly and take a wide entry into this corner. I could have got it slightly further, but max out the track more than anyone else on the exit. Now for the upcoming corner, I just completely missed the apex. Regardless, I set myself up nicely for the next corner, could have used a bit more track, but the curbs here can outright kill you. The next one, I'm taking it slower to get a wider entry into the hairpin, so I can have a wider entry for the corner after that. But it doesn't work out, I catch the curb and lose a bit of control, regardless, I still recover it for a nice final corner. That didn't look amazing, but I'm also going to compare it to a similar time. It's only 400s faster than me, set by a club made of this guy. He's not entering the first corner as wide and misses the apex, has to slow down and get on the throttle a bit late. Now in the essay, his entry into the second corner isn't as wide, but he cuts it very nicely and gets a great exit out of that. The next corner is also good, puts down the power very nicely on the exit and also does a great job managing the curves here.
he's taking a tighter entry for the hairpin, tries to also get a tight exit, but catches the curb just like me and loses control a bit, still manages to recover it for the final corner. That was it, and I'd say overall both runs are similar. I was a bit better in the first sector, he was a bit better in the second sector, and third sectors were similar. We both missed an apex and caught the same curb. You could make arguments about who did which corner better, but it's similar enough. And you can't go deeper with these dog shit replay files, so I don't get what the comp community sees in my run to 100% call me a cheater. If they said my run was suspicious and should have been a 10th or 2 slower, I would have understood that, but the club leader guy is saying my run should have been over 1.5 seconds slower. Actually, let's take a look at his time, which is 6 tenths slower than mine. The first corner is already locked up, still takes a good line, but he's slowing down and turning way too much here, and as a result, overcuts the curb and almost loses control. The fast SA is not making a visible mistake, but he's just not accelerating. He's playing it way too safe, doesn't even use all the track on the exit. That's not something you do on the most important corner. The next corner, he gets a nice entry, but once again, not pushing as hard on the exit, playing it safe for the deadly curbs. The next corner, he overcurrests, almost catches the curb, but no major loss in time. He goes even tighter for the hairpin, but actually takes it better than me and the other guy, sliding a bit out of the final corner, but still takes it respectably. And that was his lap. It was good, but not great. And there isn't even an argument here. He was clearly making a lot more mistakes than me and wasn't pushing as hard as he could have. The point is, his lap and my lap are on two different levels. I don't understand how someone could claim that my run should have been half a second slower, let alone one and a half seconds. And yet, these guys treat my lap like it's confirmed to be cheated. But this is us looking at general racing lines. You can only really spot blatant cheats from it. They're still gonna make more arguments, but I'm done wasting time here. None of this would have happened if Chris and Dan had done the bare minimum for FM. We're fighting like children and throwing accusations when the game doesn't even work. It's really bringing the worst out of us. So please, don't go after anyone mentioned here. Same goes for you comp people. You can go after me, but don't bother random people just because you think they're my alt accounts. Or even the person who voiced my videos. All he's doing is getting paid to do voiceovers. These two are the only ones to blame.